Hello! And welcome to my, like, half rebrand of this channel, I guess it is. Uh, this is not gonna be anything major. I might play all of this again, because this is just a really fun game anyway. Um, but this is gonna be kind of like, just like a little bit of a, kind of a talk along with playing this game, Breaking the Bank, because I'm going to try and be a bit more consistent with uploading. Now, granted, I don't have a mic yet, and this is all being done on a laptop, but we gonna get a mic, and we gonna figure it out, and it's gonna sound much better that everything's gonna be much cleaner, uh, I'm essentially hiring one of my friends as basically a, a little bit of an editor, uh, I asked him that if it would just be like little edits, cause I'm gonna be playing games that kinda require all the game to put gameplay to be shown, but, you know, just little things, uh, but, uh, I have two main goals with this channel. I guess not really two main goals, but I'm gonna do two kinds of content, which you're gonna split into four different kinds of content. It's gonna be weird. So, I have two main focuses that I wanna that I wanna start doing, which is Five Nights at Freddy's and Pokemon. Simple, right? Eh, not really. So what we're gonna do with Five Nights at Freddy's is a FNAF marathon, which a lot of people are doing nowadays because there's plenty of new fans and whatnot, and you know, with you know, new bangers coming out every every day of the week. Apparently, into the pitch like got leaked, and they still don't have like a website or like just like a Steam page for it. And it's making me like a little panicky because I just want to wish list it immediately. Even though, yes, it was leaked, so technically it's not officially out or revealed yet. But like, you get that what I mean? Um, but we're gonna do a little bit, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I think that we're gonna do, we're gonna cover every bit of FNAF everything. I'm going to cover the games, I'm gonna play and record them with my commentary over them, and then we're gonna read the books. Now are we going to read the books? No. I'm gonna read the books, but I'll give you like a synopsis, and I'll give you a little review, just what I thought about it. Uh, for the for the original novel trilogy, I'll probably go like a ch uh, chapter by chapter basis. If there if some chapters are shorter than others, then I might combine them and whatnot to give it a nice length. It, it, nothing has to be too big on this channel anyway. Uh, but uh, essentially, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna watch the movie again too, and then I'm gonna review that. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not gonna be, again, the greatest at that, and I might, I might need to show a little bit more visual stuff, I'll probably upload, I'll, I've been using my phone as a camera for a while, so, like, with the book videos, I'll probably just do what I normally do, and hold the book in front of me, just like I do with Pokemon cards, and we'll get to that in a sec, and I'll, like, point things out in the text, and whatnot. And, um, it should be fun. I think it'll be fun for me. I think that I'm going to have a lot of fun just, uh, sharing my thoughts with people. Regardless of how many people actually do come, and come and see them. Uh, and again, we're going to be playing all of the games. That includes the VR ones. I have an Oculus Quest 2. And so I can technically play both of the games. Both of the VR games. Uh, Help 1 and 2 might be a little bit worse off considering that I'm going to be playing that through Steam and with a laptop and Steam Link. It's it's not going to be the greatest, but I'm going to definitely try my hardest <laughs> to at least make it work. Um, I'll probably be just using Steam VR by itself and then once it starts kind of like breaking in the frame rate department because it does that fast, um, I'll probably just close out, come back to it. Or maybe I won't be done with this at that at, at, at the point where uh, Hub 1 and 2 comes out on the quest natively itself, so I can just play it there. Uh, 
which also will mean that I have bought that game on two different consoles. Uh, side note, I have played most of the FNAF games mobily, because they're super accessible on there, and honestly, I really like playing them mobily, so this is going to be a weird experience using a mouse. Uh, the next thing I want to do is Pokemon. And Pokemon is essentially going to be two things. It's what you've been seeing on this channel for a little bit, which is those TCG openings. I'm probably going to do both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! still, because uh, I, as much as I love Pokemon, I'm going to need to break it up somehow. And, you know, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is a really fun game. Maybe not necessarily to collect, but just, yeah, it's fun to play. So I'll probably do some of that as well. But then I'm also going to do Pokemon Challenge Runs. Now, they won't be anything groundbreaking like like Pichal or what have you. Um, but, you know, probably like, like some monotype runs. Just things that, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily do on my own. Because I'm much more of a casual, just kind of play the video game kind of Pokemon player. And play it for a long time. I have hundreds of hours in so many of the modern games. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out on that end. I will probably be streaming those if I get around to it. But I am going to try and be a lot more active with this. Uh, and I may also just finish this out as well, just to because I'm, I'm already starting it. And I played these a little while ago, but they're just so fun, man. I won't clear all my data. As you can see, I basically 100%ed everything except for completing the mission, which is just is these stinking bios, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and do fun things that I think will be fun with two main focuses, and maybe do some fun things on the side like this. Speaking of which, let's actually play the game. Prologue, Breaking the Bank. Hmm. So if you've never heard of the Henry Stickman franchise, uh, one, go buy this game on Steam. It's called the Henry Stickman Collection. It's, it's so fun. But, essentially, it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure kind of game. But, but the adventure, it's kind of like, you know, how Goosebump, the, the choose-your-own-adventure Goosebumps books sometimes had, like, bad endings yeah it's got a lot of those and that's your fails and there's a lot of jokes a lot of references to things from like newgrounds and stuff like that and while i might not get all of them i find all of this super fun and funny uh but essentially what usually happens is you're given a series of options just like this and many of them will fail one one or a few will succeed and uh, it will all, and hilarity, hilarity ensues, essentially. I know which one of these will work. It is this one right here. But we're going to go through the other ones because it's a good time. Let's use the shovel. The Zelda. Hmm. They cast me. Why are you gonna pull out a lighter, bud? Never dig straight down, that's true. Minecraft. You know, we all learned that from Minecraft. Let's retry. Explosives. This will work. Tons of TNT. Oh! <laughs> I never noticed that that's how it happened. The bomb just fell on the lever. <laughs> Handle was carry, yep. Teleporter, this thing. Oh my goodness. This will work. <laughs> it's emerging technology. I'm sure it'll get better. Spoiler alert. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's always bad. <laughs> I love this thing. I love these games, man. The laser. This will work. You get it. You got it. Oh, there it goes. And it crushed him. Open sesame, baby. I mean, he got, he can get in the bank now if he wasn't dead. <laughs> Wrecking ball. This will work. Yeah, no one can stop this. Ah. <laughs> I 
backing up. There's no construction scheduled for the day. I like how <laughs> Henry just, he's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, boss. Yeah, that's right. There's no construction today. <laughs> and finally, the disguise, which is the only right option. He somehow ties this from the outside. Hey, how did we lose one? Good question. I'm throw it in the back, mm -hmm. just to be safe. Definitely a good idea. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Good question. No. I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I love the nonchalant voice acting in these games. It gives it so much character. Stupid! Yeah, that's the game. Uh, if you were around when this released on Newgrounds, I don't... Was I? I might have been. Probably. I probably was. You know, Newgrounds is not that old. But, like, uh, some things are a little bit different. I went back and watched Markiplier's playthrough of this game, which was uh, all of five minutes, and the second half was just him looking at kitties, and it was adorable. Uh, but, you know, things are a little different. They used more copyrighted sounds and music. Uh, when the digging one was, led you to a train where it ran you over. Now it's just a gas main. And, uh, I believe he actually did try to use the wrecking ball, but it went and smacked him in the face instead. And just little differences, but I think overall, this is a much cleaner, more fun experience, just because you get to go to every little thing, truly everything that they, that they gone through over the years, and then ending it off with this massive final episode, which is just incredible. If you decide, if you decided to sit through this like mini rant and tiny playthrough of this game, uh, first of all, go play it. It's really good. But uh, also, just like if you want to see, if you want to see more of this, that's awesome. I'm probably gonna finish this, considering that I've decided to play it and then probably put it on the channel afterwards. But uh, stick around for the other content that I plan on doing, which again will be FNAF gameplay and buck reviews and Pokemon challenge runs and TCG openings. And they're all going to be a little bit different in style. Um, most of, many of, some of them might be me, like just like more so talking more than anything. Some will be me more so engrossed in the gameplay. Uh, TCG openings are going to be much more of like a, like a kind of like, oh, this is what's kind of happening in my life, rather than actually paying attention to what I'm actually pulling besides, you know, the cool stuff, because we've all seen pack and openings before, and if you want the, if you want the crazy reactions, there's a very cool Aussie on this platform called Unlisted Leaf that you should definitely go watch, because... I may not watch him anymore, but he is one of my childhood heroes, because uh, he had a lot of money and got really cool things that I couldn't get. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, if you have. Um, and I hope to do some fun stuff.